everyone. It is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and it is the 6th of July. So for today's Off the Board, I am embracing a holiday I don't like. <laughs> so I am embracing Halloween. And I have this amazing cut file from Cut to You called Hocus Pocus. And I think this can be used for so many things, not just for Halloween, but I'm going to use it for Halloween. <laughs> so this past year of Halloween, oh, I am showing you, this is so amazing. So this is the pixie dust from Scrap and Ink Crafts, which I am in total love with this pixie dust. So this is the Villainous pixie dust. And it really goes with my pin of color. The colors in the pixie dust are really close to the colors in my pen. Um, so I'm pulling the colors from the pen. I'm pulling the fact that it is Halloween from the pen. And yeah, just absolutely love it. Hocus Pocus reminds me of like making brews and stuff. And so those are like bottles of poison and and fun decorative things, not anything that that is real, but fun decorations. So I am using the Heidi Swap Collection Chasing. No, I have it right here. Sun Chaser. So I backed it in. There was a piece of paper that this is the rest of it. So it was pink and then the orange. So I backed it in the pink and the orange. I'm going to attach it to my background paper. And then I'm going to take that pixie dust and where the stars are in the O's, I applied some liquid glue and dumped the pixie dust in there. So I am using the Tombow Mono liquid glue aqua. So I haven't, I'm, I'm trialing it out because I don't have Nuvo. And um, it looks like it's holding my pixie dust pretty good. So hopefully um, that, that stays true. Uh, I wasn't sure. I have, I have seen other people use it and have good, good luck with it. So I'm hoping that I have good luck with it as well. So my photo is actually of me hanging out on the couch watching Hocus Pocus, the new one. So I don't watch scary movies. I don't watch anything scarier than E.T. And, but I can do Hocus Pocus. I actually enjoyed the first Hocus Pocus. So I thought, you know what? On Halloween, we're going to watch the second one because this was the first year in like 18 years that I have not gone trick-or-treating with my kids. So we used to be, we used to live next to like the big hot spot for trick-or-treating. So people would come to our house and we would all get together and we'd walk down and do the, the big thing. And since we moved, uh, it's, we're not in a good trick-or-treating neighborhood. And then to top it off, I have big kids. Um, but my big kids always like to take our friends, little kids. So it just, it wasn't happening. So my daughter went to her friend's house who has younger siblings and went trick-or-treating with them. So it was just my husband and I, and I bought all this candy. I'm like, just in case I never know, like, you know, the first year when you're in a new home, you don't know if, if you're going to get trick-or-treaters or not. But I did make sure that I only bought candy that we like. So that when it's all left over, we would have something to eat. <laughs> so I took a picture of us watching the movie because that was how we spent our Halloween. Um, I do have pictures of um, the kids for Halloween. Actually, tomorrow you will see my son's uh, outfit for Halloween. So uh, I guess we're going to do Halloween two days in a row which uh, that's kind of fun considering I don't really like Halloween, but 
it works out good. So that is my photo. I backed it in black cardstock to go with the cut file that I cut out in black cardstock. And then I took some leftover uh, scraps that I had with this kit and just did some wonky layers behind my photo. And then I dug through the ephemera and the stickers. So I have a couple of stickers up there at the top. Uh, one is a journaling spot that says all the details. Uh, the, the details aren't going to make it there. <laughs> They're going to make it down at the bottom where I have the other sticker that's like a, a label sticker. And then um, I have a die cut piece that says you and me together because it was just my husband and I. I from the cut apart sheet I did a tag and then I had another sticker and then so uh, Scrap and Ink has these absolutely amazing acrylic pieces like like they are just my favorite and so I knew that I had to get the Hocus Pocus uh, acrylic set and I had to use it on on this particular layout. It's so much fun. So the very top acrylic piece has all their hair and it says, I smell children. And it's kind of fun because in, um, in the TV, you can see it, Sarah Jessica Parker, kind of like, I mean, it's kind of blurry, but it works. And then down in the bottom corner, I have a piece that says Hocus Pocus with like a little brew pot. And then I have the candle. It says, um, don't like the black flame candle. So I've got that there. And then on the other side, I have a piece that says it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. So I get four out of the five acrylic pieces that you get in this kit on here. I just really couldn't find another spot for that other little cauldron. So that's going to have to make it on something else. So that's currently just sitting on my desk. Um, I'm not sure when I am going to, to get that going, but uh, I have one piece left. So that is super fun. I also decided to get <laughs> these lips on there because why not? Like, when am I gonna use that again? So I'm gonna get those on there. I'm gonna shut my door because my son came home and he's super loud. Um, I get a couple of the puffies from this uh, collection on here as well. And then I figure that there's been plenty of time for that glue to kind of dry. So I just dump off the extra pixie dust into my little dish. And then I'm like, you know what? I am going to use this pixie dust as my sequins because there are sequins in here. So I'm going to cover my tag holes with the sequins. And then I am also going to, instead of taking and filling the letters with the pixie dust, I am just going to take the glue and I am going to dot a couple of glue spots. And then I am going to use my crystal katana, which is that super awesome little doohickey to the right tool, I guess you could call it. Um, so it has a wax tip on one side and a metal tip on the other side. So once I put the glue down, I can take the wax tip and I can pick up the sequin or the little confetti or even the little balls or the cute little Mickey heads. Um, I can pick all of those up with the wax tip, set it down into the glue, and then I'll flip the crystal katana over and use the metal piece 
to squish it down into the uh, glue so that it adheres better. So hopefully, like I said, I'm trying out a new glue. So hopefully that's going to work for me. So that is pretty much going to do it for my layout today. I will have the cut shop linked down below so you can get your hands on the cut file. I will have scraps and ink listed down below so you can get your hands on the acrylics and the pixie dust. The pixie dust is just absolutely, oh, just love, love, love that stuff. Sorry, my dog decided to inform me that there were people outside that I knew were coming, like my daughter. <laughs> so I decided to put a little bit of that pixie dust in my hand because, you know, I like to touch all of my supplies and I could just run my hands through this pixie dust. <laughs> it is so awesome. I love it. So... Here I am just going to stick a few of those extra ones down. It's so cute. They have, so they have like Mickey heads. They have black flowers. They have black Mickey heads. There are blue stars. There are bats. There are gold hexagons. There are um, silver balls. And there are like sequins in black and gold and clear I'm totally playing with it right now. <laughs> um, and there's some red balls. There's some diamonds. Like, oh, it's, I'm in love. So there are a couple of close-ups, of course, of a few shots of the uh, pixie dust and the acrylic pieces because I am in love with them. But that is going to do it for today. So check out the description, description box. You will find a link to the playlist. And remember to wear your crown. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.